if anyone's out there, please note that today is the 21st of the 12th, 2012. It's the end of the world. Everyone's dead. I'm the only survivor. In case of my death, I have only one question to ask. If it was the end of the world, why would you be watching this video? I meant seriously, now, if it was, then um, we'd all be dead right now and this video wouldn't be going on air. The end of the world is just complete bollocks to me. There, I said it. Sure, my internet, if you're watching this, then the inevitable has happened. We've passed the end of the world. Woohoo! But here's the thing now, uh, I know that people are going to be watching this now and they'll be like, oh my god, yes, it was the end of the world, oh my god, we can't believe we survived it. I think the only thing that's going to bug me now is when you go onto Facebook or onto Tumblr or onto Twitter or any of the social networking sites, you're going to be bombarded with stuff like, like if you survive the end of the world. I can't believe that the end of the world didn't happen. I so wanted to have that day off. YOLO. Yeah, it does kind of bug me when people put stuff like that up. It makes me think, why did I ever, ever join those sites again? But I thought, yeah, popularity. Now nah, I'm only joking with you, as if it would be popularity. It is the popularity. So, as you can see, I am back home in my snuggly bedroom back in Neath. Yay. I'll be here for Christmas-wise until January, until I can go back to Swans again then, relax and then enjoy the rest with all of my friends back there. Yay. No, but I have to say, it has been a bit kind of weird these last couple of days now, coming back home and basically trying to get back into a routine of where I left off when I was here. Because basically, all I'm doing now is... Although I realised when I was back here as well that there were some things now that were new and there were some things in which I thought, oh my god, this is why I left Neath. So I thought I'd do a quick sum up of stuff that has happened here in which I thought may as well get it out into the open. Parents! Okay, now don't get me wrong now with parents because, you know, parents are supposed to be there to love and support you. But they can do silly things half the time in which make you wanna... No, it's just like, as soon as I got back, my dad started making all of these uni jokes about me being a stew-dent. Is my name Stu? Because I am a stew-dent. <coughs> See, that's the thing, his one-liners drive me crazy and stuff, and I think, yeah, don't do that, it makes you act like a dad. Too late. I think my mum, I love her to bits now, but there are some times in which I do feel like... That again, apparently. No, that's the thing. We went shopping the other day, and uh, basically, what she's trying to look for is a game for the PlayStation that we usually have for Christmas called Buzz. Now, recently, the PS2 has kind of conked out, and we need to try and find either a PS2 or a PS3 version of Buzz, which, to be honest, is kind of hard to find these days. But while we were out and stuff, I thought, you know, I have to explain every last little thing to her because it's always like. Oh, Jane, is this a PS2 game? No, Mum, that's a PlayStation 3 game. Is it? How can you tell? Because it says on the cover right there. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in a world of my own. <laughs> Would this work on a PS2? Yeah, okay, we're gonna put that down and we're gonna go. What? And that's where I tie into the next part of the story in which I have to say, Tesco's. But more importantly about Tesco's, the reduced shelf. Okay, those who are thinking, now oh, what the hell is the reduced shelf? Then uh, let me give you a quick run through of it. Basically, now anything that was on the shelves that is nearby its sell by date, or you know, it just basically looks damaged or anything, goes onto the reduced shelf. 
And this is basically where now the customers would flock in like seagulls or vultures all around this one little shelf just to get something good. If you're lucky enough, you can find a steak there for like two pound. Not bad. Oh, that's the thing as well. I went to town today and uh, I actually bought some new ice cream that they were having on sale in Tesco. Don't worry, it wasn't on the reduced shelf. Winterberry brownie. And I thought that is awesome because they've had that you know, for a Christmas promotion, so I thought I'd actually give it a try now and see what it's like. And, I don't know. Ah! One thing I don't like about this, you can never find that little tag that says pull here and it whole thing unravels. So you've got to try and do it by your teeth and stuff, so that is the weirdest thing. Ah. Nothing gets in the way of me and my ice cream. <laughs> Whoa, look at that! That is... I don't know if you can see that. That looks... Gorgeous and lucky I have my spoon here, so I'm going to try it out. Mmm, that's really not bad. Uh, it says that with the winter berry brownie, it's vanilla ice cream with chocolate brownies and raspberry and blackberry swirls. Anyway guys, I'm going to call it uh, a wrap here for today. Uh, I will see you guys hopefully next week for we have Christmas Day and we all feast upon the Christmas turkey or whatever you have for Christmas and we end up collapsing on the sofa getting exhausted or arguing with our parents or playing with our new toys or all of the above. Anyway guys I will see you next week and if not I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and I will see you within the new year. Take care guys. Ah.